Hi, I'm Dr. Shyam Shankar. I'm a senior physiotherapist and physiotherapy manager at Portia Medical. I'm basically a master in physiotherapy in rehabilitation. My key areas of interest is pain, disability and uh, return to work. Adhesive capsulitis is a very common disease uh, seen in uh, elder population, those are above 40 years of old and it's seen in uh, most of women. And across the condition we can see people who are actually diabetic tend to have the adhesive capsulitis. Basically it's an inflammation on the capsule of shoulder joint. Capsule is something like a sac formation which holds the shoulder for a better free movements. It is seen as primary uh, adhesive capsulitis and secondary adhesive capsulitis. Primary condition, the, the capsule will be inflammated and uh, when there is an inflammation on the capsule, there will be a, a lack of range of motion and will be having pain. And secondary condition, it will uh, uh, usually associate with other diseases of the shoulder like rotator cuff strain or uh, bursitis. The exercise and stretching are actually designed according to the level of severity. In the primary adhesive capsulitis, the exercises are programmed in such a way to get a better range of movement and uh, release in, uh, in the pain. And when there are secondary uh, problems which is affected with the adhesive capsulitis, then the stretching and the exercise will be designed differently. In the secondary adhesive capsulitis, the stretchings are designed uh, in such a way to in improve the pain also. The capsular stretches are very important after cortisone injections. So, uh, specific st uh, stretching designs are made according to the available range of motions. Suppose the patient is able to lift uh, to a 60 degrees uh, on his affected arm. Usually, we will uh, initiate uh, stretching on lying down. So, here we will describe how to do it on the lying down. He will be uh, taking his unaffected hand and lift his affected hand holding it under the elbow so it's properly supported so further movements he is not going to get any pain so he is supposed to lift it up to a tolerance level so at this point maybe he will be feeling pain he has to hold it for 10 to 15 seconds and feel the capsular stretch and bring back to normal